take this to the bedroom? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. You have protection, right? Uh, yeah. Let me go get some. So, uh, I'm gonna be honest. I never thought you were actually gonna ask me out. <laughs> Are you kidding? I can't pick up a signal from a girl to save my life. But you were coming into the store every day. And sometimes you wouldn't even buy anything. Well, I mean, I'd go broke if I did. <laughs> right. So I decided to ask you out. Now you don't have to come into the store every day just to say hi. <laughs> Wait, is that the only reason you asked me out? Oh, no, of course not. But now I get to ask all the questions I wanted to when we first met. What kind of questions? Well, first off, why are you so damn pretty? <laughs> and secondly, when you were buying all those things, you said it was the remedy for a bad week. What was so bad about that week that you needed a movie and a whole tub of ice cream? Well, um, honestly, my boyfriend and I broke up earlier that day and um, we were together for a pretty long time, so... Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Do you mind if I ask how come? He just didn't trust me, I guess. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. I mean, I'm over it now, you know? I know that he wasn't the one, so... <laughs> Hold up. You don't actually believe in that, do you? Believe in what? <laughs> The one? I mean, yeah, I guess I kind of do. Do you not? Well, I don't really have any reason to. I come from a broken home, and every relationship I've ever seen either ends in divorce or they die at each other's necks. Oh, well, guess you'll just have to see it to believe it. I guess so. Are either of you interested in dessert this evening? No, thank you. I'm full. And for you, ma'am? Um, yeah, actually, can I have some rich of ice cream, please? Absolutely, I'll bring it right out. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> what? It's nothing. No, tell me. No, really, it's nothing. It's definitely something. <laughs> it's just, that's the same ice cream you bought the night you met. You remember the ice cream that I bought that night? <laughs> of course I do. How could I forget? You were the mint chip movie girl with a thousand bottles of lotion. <laughs> well, since you've been so sweet to me, and you remembered my favorite kind of ice cream, do you want the first bite? Why not? Oh. <laughs> you got it. You got it. No, it's like under. No, no, no. It's all good. Here, let me get it. There you go. <laughs> Thanks. Are we actually going to do it this time? I think so. <sighs> oh, sorry. 
Trying to find the freaking. Oh! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. Oh. god, I still can't believe that was the first night we did it. And it was in your truck, too. <laughs> the most romantic place in the city. <laughs> oh, and um, do you remember the first time uh, you met my parents? You mean the night that I burned four steaks and started a fire? Yeah, yeah a little hard to forget it. Here's your ice cream. Oh, thank thank you. you. Happy anniversary. Thanks. Thanks. Oh, uh, do you want to exchange gifts now? Uh, yeah, sure. You want to go first? Yeah. It's that watch. Yeah. Uh, look, here, look at this side there. You got it engraved, babe? <laughs> Tom and Gabby. First anniversary. Do you like it? I love it, babe. Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. Uh, I mean, I know you were eyeballing that one for a while, so you know, I decided to get it, and now you have no excuse for being late all the time. <laughs> What's wrong? I don't know if I want to give you my gift now. Tom, I don't care about the gift. Well, I want to get you something. It's just, I needed it to show you how amazing you are and how much I really care about you. But to be honest, I'm not sure if such an item exists. Well, hearing that was better than any gift I could have gotten. <laughs> but... I really want to know what it is. <laughs> Read the letter first. Okay. That's cute. <laughs> Dear Gabby, to be honest, I don't know why I'm writing you this. I thought it would be easier to write how I feel about you than to say it, but no matter what I do, I can't find the right words. You showed me what love is. That I had my life all planned out, but I never planned on meeting you. Never have I been so happy to see a plan fail. When I'm around you, I feel things I never felt before. This variety of emotions life throws at us may seem overwhelming at first, but it can give you a feeling inside that is priceless. It can be found where you least expect it, even somewhere as gray as a run-down convenience store. <laughs> Love, Tom. Thank you. Open the present, silly. <laughs> Tom, our picnic. I loved that day. I love you. I love you too. It's my favorite memory of us. I'll treasure it forever. Take that kind of tone with me. You're the one screwing that douche from work. I told you, Zach is just my friend. Oh, bullshit. I see the way you two are looking at each other. Tom, why don't you believe me? Because I don't want to. What the hell is that supposed to mean? It means I think we need some space. Space? Tom, you're the one who wanted me to move in with you. This was your Yeah, idea. and I'm saying that I think it was a mistake. A mistake? Where is this coming from? We were fine a week ago. Yeah, you're right. In fact, we were more than fine. But then I started thinking about it all and where it all leads with the ring and the baby, and I can't do all that. It's not part of the plan. Whatever happened to screw the plan? What happened was I fell in love with you. Okay, and from my past experience, it never ends well. It ends in a fallout or heartbreak or a fight. And it's unavoidable. So that's what this is about. You're throwing a temper tantrum so that we don't have an even bigger fallout. Yeah, it is. Because that's how it always ends. 
come when you love somebody you just make it work okay you fight for it and and it doesn't matter how many of your relationships fail all you need is that one to stick just just one and I don't know about you but I love you I can't I just can't well, why not I, I feel that way about you too but I just can't say it. Tom, you mean to tell me that you can't use three words to describe the way you feel about me? I guess so. Wait, you act like you've never said it to anyone before. Oh. You haven't, have you? No. Every relationship I've ever been in has ended before I had to say those three words. Well, you don't have to say it. I understand. I want no, to. Tom, I get it. It's, it's not a big deal. I propose we have an ice cream toast. To what? To not saying I love you. Chicken. I wish I could say the same, but I just oh my can't. God. You jerk. I love you. You know what? I want to remember this. Let's take a picture. Okay. <clears throat> Is it? Aw, that's perfect. It's us. Sure. Sure you do. I can't do this. Either you want me to stay or or you don't, Tom. But if, if you don't, then I have no reason to be here. What do you want me to say? Say that we'll last. Say that, that we'll be the one that sticks, Tom. find something? Yeah. I did.
remedy for a bad week. You call all this the remedy for a bad week? I mean, what else would you call a tub of ice cream in the best movie ever created? I don't know. I haven't seen it. You've never seen The Notebook? Not even once. But it's the best movie ever. Well, if it's the best movie ever, then why are you just buying it now? Oh, well, I mean, I, I used to have it, but um, I lost it a few weeks ago, and I just haven't had another chance to buy it. Gotcha. That'll be $38.50. Thank you. 